हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज आवर फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर लाइट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्लेक्शन एंड द टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सेशन आर एज फॉलो मिरर फॉर्मूला एंड मैग्निफिकेशन सपोज ऑब्जेक्ट ए बी is placed between pole and focus of concave mirror and we know whenever object is placed between pole and focus the image form is behind the mirror virtual and direct and magnified the distance between pole and the object is denoted by u the distance between pole and the image is denoted by v and the distance between pole and the focus is denoted by small f let the height of the object be h and the height of the image be h dash so this is image and that's the object mirror formula gives the relation between object distance u image distance v and focal length f and the mirror formula is given by 1 by f equals to 1 by v plus 1 by u this is called mirror formula we are going to use this formula while solving numerical next we have magnification the formula of magnification is given by ratio of height of image to the height of object and in this case we can write it as height of image is h dash and the height of object is h the formula can be written as h dash by h this another formula of magnification that is negative of ratio of image distance to the object distance and here image distance denoted by v and the object distance is denoted by u so we can write minus v by u so there are two formulas of magnification first is h dash by h and the second is minus v by u if we combine these two formula we get h dash by h equals to minus v by u next we have sign convention of spherical mirrors these are the sets of rules which are applied while solving spherical mirror numericals according to new cartesian sign conventions the object is always placed to the left of the mirror this implies that light from the object falls on the mirror from the left hand side all distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror all the distances measured to the right of the origin along positive x axis are taken as positive while those measured to the left of the origin along negative x axis are taken as negative distances measured perpendicular to and above the principal axis along positive y axis are taken as positive distances measured perpendicular to and below the principal axis along negative y axis are taken as negative let's understand these rules in details so that we can easily apply them while solving numerical suppose object ab placed between focus and center of curvature of concave mirror and we know whenever object is placed between f and c the image form is magnified real and inverted and behind the center of curvature according to new cartesian sign convention and the distances which are measured against to the direction of 
light rays will be taken as negative. That is, all distances measured to the left of the mirror will be taken as negative. The distances measured perpendicular and above the principal axis are taken as positive. The distances perpendicular and below the principal axis will be taken as negative. From the given sets of rules, we can conclude that u, that is object distance, is always taken negative because object is always placed to the left of the mirror. And we know, according to new Cartesian sign convention, all distances measured to the left of the mirror are taken as negative. Second, we have image distance. Image distance can be taken as positive or can be taken as negative, depending upon the nature of the image formed, whether real image is formed or virtual image is formed. V is taken positive for virtual and erect image. Because virtual and erect image is always formed to the right of the mirror by producing the rays backward. And V is taken negative for real and inverted image. Because real inverted image is always formed to the left of the mirror as shown in this given diagram. Next we have height of object. Height of object is noted by H and it is always taken positive. Why always taken positive? Because object is placed perpendicular and above the principal axis. And according to new Cartesian sign convention, all distances measured perpendicular and above the principal axis are taken as positive. H dash, that is the height of the image, may be positive or negative, depending upon the nature of the image form. H dash is taken positive for virtual and erect image. Because erect image is formed perpendicular and above the principal axis. And H dash is taken negative for real and inverted image because inverted image is always formed perpendicular and below the principal x. Focal length depends upon the nature of the mirror. Focal length of concave mirror is left to the mirror. That is why it is taken as negative. Whereas focal length for convex mirror is right to the mirror. That is why it is taken as positive according to new Cartesian sign conventions. So these are the sets of rules which we have to apply while solving numerical problems. Let's try numericals based on spherical mirror. Question number one, an object is placed at a distance of 10 centimeter from a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter. Find the position and nature of the image. So here object distance given 10 centimeter. So we can write u equals to 10 centimeter. And according to sign conventions, we know u is always taken negative. So we put negative sign here. From a concave mirror of focal length 15 centimeter. Focal length is 15 centimeter. And according to sign convention, the sign of focal length depends upon the nature of the mirror. Here, the mirror is concave in nature. And for concave, focal length is negative. And we're supposed to calculate the position of image that is V and the nature of image. So this is the given data. So we'll apply here mirror formula that is 1 by F equals to 1 by V plus 1 by U. On substituting the values, we can calculate position of image. On rearranging, we'll get 1 by V equals to minus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 10. The LCM of 15 and 10 will be 30. So it is minus 2 plus 3. Thus, 1 by V can be written as 1 by 30. And V is on reciprocal. V is plus 30 centimeter. 
so the position of image is 30 cm from the pole of the spherical mirror when an object is placed at a distance of 10 cm and the nature of the image formed is virtual and erect since and the nature of the image is virtual and erect because the sine of v is positive and we know according to sign conventions positive sign of image distance denote the image formed is virtual and erect question number 2 an object 4 cm in size is placed at 25 cm in front of a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm at what distance from the mirror should a screen be placed in order to obtain a sharp image also find the nature and the size of the image form so we have been given an object 4 cm in size that is h object is noted by h and h is always taken positive height of object is always taken positive according to sign conventions is placed at a distance of 25 cm in front of concave mirror so we have been given u also the position of object is 25 cm and u is always taken negative according to sign convention focal length is also given that is 15 cm and the nature of the mirror is concave and we know for concave mirror is taken as negative and we are supposed to calculate the position of image that is v height of image that is h dash and nature of image so this is the given data for calculating the position of image we can use mirror formula that is 1 by f equals to 1 by v plus 1 by v on substituting the values f is given minus 15 we have to substitute the values along with the signs v we need to calculate and u is given minus 24 on rearranging we can write 1 by v equals to minus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 25 the lcm of 15 and 25 will be 75 it comes out to be minus 5 plus 3 so 1 by v is equals to minus 2 by 75 or v is minus 75 by 2 centimeter which can be written as minus 37.5 centimeter from the position of the image obtained we can also find the nature of the image form here the negative sign denotes that the image formed is real and inverted because v is negative for real and inverted so the nature of the image formed is real and inverted we also need to calculate the position of image that is h dash so we can use relation h dash by h equals to minus v by u these both are these both are the these are the formulas of magnification if we if we equate both the formulas of magnification we can obtain this relation now if i substitute you the value of h here height of object is given plus 4 position of image obtained is minus 37.5 and the position of object is given minus 25 we can cancel here negative sign so h dash will be minus 37.5 into 4 divided by 25 on solving h dash comes out to be minus 6 cm so the height of the image formed here minus 6 cm if we compare the height of the image with the height of the object we find that the height of image is greater than the height of the object so we can say the image formed here is magnified since the height of image is more than the height of object and this negative sign also denotes that the nature of image is real and inverted. I am assigning you this worksheet which is based on today's lecture. Thank you.